three, two, one. Cue Roger. Hello, good evening and welcome to this, the first episode of my brand new Channel 4 television show. No, cut. It's a blap, Roger. Well, they don't call me one take Melly for nothing. Last one of the bars are queer. <sighs> they say no news is good news. Well, my husband went on a two-week camping holiday in Zambia in 1952 and hasn't been seen since. So I hardly think the saying applies in this case. Mrs Might, London. She can dish it out, but she cannot take it, I once heard someone say of me. And it's true, I'm a school dinner lady and I'm allergic to potatoes. Mrs Pinches, Hereford. My teachers told me I would never make anything of myself if I sat staring into space during lessons. However, I now have the last laugh, as I am Professor Brian Cox from Off the Space Documentaries on TV. Brian Cox, Off the TV. Burglars, spend half an hour in a hot bath before you do your next job. After a good soak, the police will never be able to identify your crinkly fingerprints or dabs. Are you at a loss to describe something you've seen, something you've done, or something that has come out of your arse? I'm Professor Fuck, and I create brand new profanities here in my Profanosaurus lab. This week, the letter A. Alco troll. Noun, a woman who looks fugly even through high-powered beer goggles. Alco troll. Acne cabbage. Noun, the preferred conveyance of the sort of spotty complexion gentleman who affects tracksuits and baseball caps, usually an Escort Cabriolet or Citroen Saxo, an estate car. Acne carriage. Agatha Christie. Now, a silent putrid fart committed in this very room. And there's only one person who knows who done it. Agatha Christie. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Professor Fuck, and until we meet again, see you next Tuesday. A blap. What the fuck's a blap, Tom? Well, it's a sort of uh, online taster, Roger. You know, uh, it's a way for Channel 4 to gauge public reaction and uh, help them to decide whether it's worthwhile to commission a full series. Gauge public reaction? Did they see the ratings for Britain's Got Piles? I'm telly gold, Tom. Telly gold. I am getting paid for this, aren't I? <laughs> You've swam in the sea with them, now it's time to fall from the sky with them. Experience the thrill of parachuting with dolphins. Just imagine the once-in-a-lifetime thrill of a tandem free fall from 25,000 feet strapped to one of nature's most gentle and intelligent marine creatures. Well, now that dream can come true. Simply text, I want to parachute with dolphins to 081 811 8055. Calls cost up to 10p depending on your tariff. Oh, uh, hi, Roger. Hi, Tom. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> How was India? Absolutely shocking, Tom. I've never seen anything like it. The sweatshops are... I must have seen dozens of them. Christ. Little kiddies, Tom. Working 18 hours a day for a bowl of rice. Slave labour, Tom. That's what it is. No other words for it. <sighs> Sounds awful, Roger. Hmm. No health and safety, no sick pay. No holidays now. Don't even get a break for lunch, Tom. Can you believe it? That's how they make stuff so cheap, I suppose. Oh, dear idea. When does it go out, Roger? When, when does what go out? The documentary. What, what documentary is that? Your documentary, Roger. Your expose of the sweatshops in India. God, no, I wasn't making a film, Tom. No, that subject's been done to fucking death. Eh? No, 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 I was out there getting a few quotes from a new range of leisure wear. What do you reckon to these? <sighs> ta -da! Place in Bangalore can do for five pence a unit, Tom. Five pence! And I can knock the fuckers out for the thick end of 30 quid. <coughs> it's a fish crap joke. I heard that the tiger is threatened. There must be some brave people out there. I wouldn't dare threaten a tiger. Alan Heath, email. Well, that's all for this show. Um, blip, or whatever the fuck it's called. Cut! Oh, it's a blap, Roger! Nice one. Last one in the bars are queer.
is uh, is this a cash job, Tom? Only uh, I've not mentioned it to my agent, so, you know, settle up with the folding stuff and there's a drink in it for you. Oh, well, I don't think I can really. No, um... don't worry, nobody's going to see it. It's not real telly, Tom. Talking of which, uh, I've had a great idea for a show. Star in a reasonably priced whore. Title's a bit contrived, but uh, stick it up against them birds doing roulette and it'll be a ratings winner. A load of celebrities, right, banging a £25 brass and the one who lasts the longest gets 500 quid for a kiddies charity. You haven't got uh, John McCurrick's phone number, have you, by any chance? 